Okay, so here's the deal. About five days ago, I ordered my tripod uh, in this video here. Anyways, the tripod still hasn't come. It's been sitting in the facility for five days now. I called the facility up. Pretty much what I was told was that the driver that was supposed to be bringing me my package uh, somehow lost it inside the facility and he just now found it. Uh, so I'm sick and tired of waiting. I cannot trust this driver to deliver my package. So we're going on an adventure. Hey TL, this is Dustin again. Uh, I was gonna see if I can come by and pick up that uh, tripod real quick. I was gonna head over there now. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I'm here. Okay, it took me about 30 minutes to get there. Okay, no problem. All right, thank you. Bye. Something I, I learned about this shipping company, uh, when I started checking the reviews online on the Google page and on the Yelp pages, it looks really bad. All right, so let's let's check out these reviews. This is pretty crazy. All right, this one says uh, several times they shipped it. The order did not. <laughs> it's crazy. This is one star with pictures. One star. One star. One star. Look at look at how bad this shipping company is. Oh. That's definitely fake. One star, one star, one star, one star, one star, one star, one star. One star. We're, we're beginning to see a trend here where uh, Amazon's shipping company that they're currently using, LaserShip, has been consistently horrible within our area. Uh, it's, it's about like four out of five reviews, maybe even less than that, is showing one star or, or very, very little over that. So yeah, probably the worst uh, part of Amazon right now is this company they're currently using. We're gonna go there now. I'm curious to see how this facility looks. So we're, gonna, we're gonna drive there now. It's 30 minutes away. Where are we going? It's on the whole other side of where I live at. But I want my package. I want my tripod. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want. That's what I've been waiting for. Okay, so we, uh, we got the kids loaded in the van now. We're gonna head over there and uh, pick up my tripod. Which is what? Don't you see laser ship anywhere? No, I only see the United States Postal Service. So is the US the UPS USPS a part of laser ship? Mm -hmm. Wow, so it's like this huge it's like a huge shipping facility with all these buildings. A bunch of trucks and stuff. Uh, is it right there? Is that laser ship? Arrived. Oh, that's laser ship. All right, so I'm at the laser ship now. The The facility is kind of like an open floor plan. It looks like a giant Ikea. Uh, so I'm gonna head in right now to see if I can get my package. So, I got, I got the package. It's kind of um, like an open floor deal. So I don't know how it works. It's like, uh, it's like they hire Uber drivers or something to ship these things out, which is, I think, part of the reason why things are getting missing. It's like they just come in, pick it up, and then drop it off, so there's no telling if they're secure or not. So basically, there's just like you know, a large amount of people that are here just to pick up packages to drop off, I guess. There's like, there's no postal shipping cars. There's no specific vans or anything. They're just like random people picking up stuff. Really? Yeah. That is so weird. I know. So is there, is there anybody in there? Yeah. So all of these are packages? Yeah. This is what it looks like on the floor. There's like an entire amount of just packages chilling on the floor. These doors are wide open right now. Like anybody can come and pick it up. I didn't have to give him my shipping information. I pretty much just walked over there and grabbed my package. Like, like any random dude that comes in here and claims to be uh, somebody that owns a package here or specifically asks for something, they can literally just pick it up. The entire time, I've been trying to find my way over here though. Um, the, the building itself, there's very, very, very little uh, advertising on the side. It was really hard to find. I get that. The only thing is, it's kind of weird. Is 
it just seems like there's a bunch of random people showing up to drop off packages. And I, d I just highly doubt these people are certified shippers. I imagine that, that most of these packages, if you notice, they're all uh, picked up here uh, at the, the local shipping yard, which is basically shipped here probably over over airplane and dropped off so i don't i don't know the deal with it but i do know that the main facility in the front over here is the US, usps i don't know if they're in coheats with them uh, but all i can say is the, the shipping setup is way unorganized the people there they're highly unorganized when i got in there there was cubicles there it's a wide open floor plan and nobody nobody greeted me nobody asked me what i was here for nobody even talked about anything um but yeah that's uh that's kind of what's going on i don't know the deal of uh laser ship or why they take so long i think that has a lot to do with it basically from my my understanding right now is either the people that are dropping these packages off aren't um actually dropping them off and just taking them for themselves or they lose them along the way or I have no idea because basically what happens is and what has happened to me is when I order a package and it doesn't get delivered Amazon will have to eat that charge and they'll have to ship another package and usually laser ship is the one to ship it to me I've rarely got an occasion where USPS has it's, it's sometimes they'll they will USPS it if it's two days but uh, yeah lately it's been laser ship and this is my situation uh, with shipping with Amazon and laser ship right now I just wanted to give some awareness and kind of give some insight to exactly what's going on with the facility uh, I will say the um, the manager guy that was inside there TO he's actually really nice uh, but it's it's really really bad in there